It's like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, okay. I am really crying. <laughs> and I just think it's nice that after all these years, the Emmys finally stepped up and gave everybody else an award. Um, Jesus, my wife was watching that thing last night. What a fucking shit show. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Theo. Hey, dapper stranger, need a lift? You put a drifter in the van with the kids. I don't know, man. I got to tell you something. There's no way that it's worse. If for someone who is into watching award show, an award show to make them watch sports. There's no way that that's a worse experience than someone who watches sports having to sit there and watch a fucking the Emmys. You know, I didn't have to sit there. I kind of had it had to because, uh, you know, I hadn't seen my wife in a couple of days. And she was like, I want to hang out with you. And then we had to sit there and just watch these fucking things. It just. Ugh. The actress, they're just so goddamn dramatic. The Emmy goes to. Sarah Paulson. This is the first Emmy win and sixth nomination for Sarah Paulson. I had one of those mouth wedding drops and now I can't feel my face, so this is a problem. Uh, Wait, it was because you thought I could that I even dared. Because you believed in me, I dared to try. I almost fucking threw up whoever the hell said that because you believed in me. I dared to try. It's like you're a fucking actor. It's a killer script. You what? You're going to turn it down. That fucking OJ miniseries was was unbelievable. You need to turn up the pressure. Pressure. You want to turn up the pressure. I don't believe in me, but because you did, I dared. To, I dared to try. Ugh. <laughs> It was one of the worst things I've ever heard, you know, other than when you call up the cable company. If you want to do this, press one, you get into that. Talking to a robot lady is one notch lower than that. I'm not shitting on the actor. You know what I mean? They get God, because they're like that, that's why they give the great performances. And because I'm a cunt, that's why I do stand up. You know what I mean? So everybody finds the little fucking hole they're supposed to crawl into. Oh, my God. There's always these are these are important stories and they need to be told Stories that provoke conversation, necessary conversation. (laughs) And it also creates privilege when you take women, people of color, trans people, queer people, and you put them at the center of the story, these subjects instead of the objects. You change the world, we found out. (laughs) We found out. Just take your shiny thing and leave. Just give us the keys. Oh, oh, my God. Because you believed in me, I dared to try. Um, I dared to try. <laughs> the next time my wife compliments me, I'm going to say that to her. Because you believed in me, I dared to try. Um, these are stories that need to be told. We're storytellers. And with us, without us giving people a voice. <laughs> you know what else was great? You know, as the Emmys, I, I think the Emmys got scared by all the shit the Oscars got. You know, and what was funny is as many people of color that won. One of the funniest shots all night long was when, you know, if you looked, if they just would like, do a shot behind Jimmy Kimmel and you saw the front row. It looked like a great mix of everybody. But when they did the the shot, when they'd come back from commercial and you saw the whole crowd, it was like from the thousandth row up to the third row. It was all white. It was like... (laughs) It looked like a foreigner concert. From the back row all the way to like the third row. But if they did it the way they shot it, they front end loaded. Like the 15 black people that were there, they just had them all right in front. 
The juice box. You would like a juice box? There you go. Enjoy. Thank you. Take the whole thing. Okay. Some Asian people and all that, but all the way to the back. It, I was joking with Nia, like, you, if you live in New York City, every once in a while you go into one of those bodegas that's either dealing drugs or just going out of business. A little corner store is called bodegas. Say it with me. Bodegas. And it looks like it's fucking stocked with food. And you grab that one can of food and you look and it's like behind that can, this is just completely empty. So I did get some laughs while watching it. Jesus Christ, the weight of every fucking thing that they say. It's just unbelievable. It's just like that inside the actor's studio. When that fucking guy just sits there like, I hope you realize the presence of greatness that we are in. You know, it's just like, Jesus Christ, dude, you're fucking, you're pretending to be a fireman. Relax. <laughs> um, we've arrived at a difficult moment, of course. Um, it was so brave. It was such a brave performance. You know what I mean? There's, there's fucking people up there, you know, building skyscrapers and shit. Oh, those guys who go up and they change. You ever see those things? My, my palms literally sweat watching these people. They climb all the way up those towers to change the fucking light. The little light bulb at the top of the tower, at the top of the fucking building, so a so plane can see it at night. And they got that part where they unhook the safety thing. Free climbing is more dangerous, of course. But OSHA rules do allow for it. Jesus Christ, if putting on 20 pounds and wearing a wig is brave, what the fuck is that? Huh? You can't die acting, can you? Well, I guess you can. There's ways to die as an actor, right? The fake gun on set turns out it's got, you know, you put it up to your head, there's that. They, they fucking bring a helicopter. People have died on set, so no disrespect to them. 29 minutes of yammering, Bill. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, some days the podcast is hard. Other days it's easy. But I just want to say to everybody who listens, because you dare to download... I dare to try. <laughs> um, lastly, I'd like to dedicate this to my father, William Louis Dreyfus, who passed away on Friday. And I'm so glad that he liked Veep because his opinion was the one that really mattered. Thank you.